been around for a while and have fought each other many times, so there's a feeling that you, you know you're adding something new to this division, aren't you? You're a bit of a wild card. Is that and is that something that you think is the strength of what you have that people aren't really going to know what to expect from you? See, si, uh, MMA is MMA, you know, and uh, like in the beginning when UFC become bigger and bigger. There was a lot of ground games and a lot of wrestling. In the end, people pay, they want to see big bumps, they want to see KOs. They don't come for hugging and kissing, you know? And uh, for me, I respect MMA fighters, you know, I choose for MMA. But still, I'm not here for hugging and kissing. I'm here to knock people out. And this is what people want to see and this is what I what I'm gonna bring, what is new in the UFC. There is a lot of chaos, but I'm gonna bring them some new action, some explosivity on this weight they never see in their life. Thanks so much. Good luck. Thank you, thank you very much. I have like two, two questions. Uh, what's your opinion about the, the division and the do you want to stay in light heavyweight or have a plans to, to move up to, to the heavyweight division? <coughs> See, I'm open for everything, man. Uh, I'm a fighter. I'm a fighter. I fight, like I say, I fight the biggest, the tallest, the heaviest. And uh, when I have the title next year, this time, yeah, then why not? If there is a, a, a good option, a, a fight what everybody want to see, I want to give this fight to the people, so I'm open. And the last question, uh, you see, you, you talk a little bit more about Conor McGregor. Yeah. You, you, I remember you, you tried to maybe bet in the, the, the boxing fight of Conor, I guess, Mayweather. Uh, what's your impression about, about him as a fighter? And uh, do you want to, to, uh, to stay in the, this Conor ways and try to promote himself and, and try to talk with, with, uh, to the fans? Uh, because he had a, a trash talk and the people maybe uh, see, appreciate that. See, uh, Conor McGregor, uh, he's a fighter with, uh, how can I say, uh, I see a lot of things in him what I was when I was younger and when I go to events and uh, when I see things and in my mind like I dream about and I make it happen you know his story is beautiful and I see a lot of things in my own life in his stories and then in the end he beat uh, Jose Aldo, he beat Eddie Alvarez and then he says I fight everybody in every sport and he fight Floyd Mayweather, I mean the best boxer uh, in the last 10-15 years and he fight against him, maybe I know he, he don't have chance to win but still I promote him because the way how we think, the way how we talk, that motivates me, you know, and that makes people believe that he's gonna win the fight and I was believing he was gonna win this fight and in the end everybody see he fight 10 rounds against Floyd Mayweather and for me he win the fight you know so this is uh, this is uh, what I think about uh, McGregor and uh, I'm proud of him 27 years 28 years old and uh, superstar man respect yeah. in the we saw uh, we saw a couple boxers coming to MMA. Yeah. Uh, you, you you told uh, a couple minutes before uh, the the kickbox is maybe done for you. And uh, do you believe uh, if you coming to it, do you see show your skills? Uh, you know you have a high level kickboxing skills. And uh, the more uh, more fighters from kickboxing have a desire and try to to that take that that experience and coming to do MMA. Yeah, but every fighter is different. I am, a, how do you say, I'm an elite sporter. The way how I was kickboxing, I don't see many people.
kickboxing that way. Most of them is uh, Thai style or uh, uh, standard uh, Dutch style kickboxing. And my style was everything. I can fight every every opponent, South Pole, uh, whatever. Uh, that was always my speciality when I was young. I was watching fights from every fighter. I take the best thing out and try to use it myself. And that's why I believe also my footwork, my light footwork, this is what gonna make my debut, my UFC, my MMA career, something special. You know? And the last question, what's your prediction about the fight? And uh, the, the Hickey says he tried to knock you out. Do you think he tried to disrespect you to try to use the mental game to the, the, that fight? For me, I don't care what he say, what he think. Like I said, I fight everybody, man. Who the fuck is he? I'm here to knock him out. He say he wanna knock me out, I'm happy he talk like that. If he have boss, he come fight, stand up with me. I know he's not gonna fight, stand up with me. It's just blah, blah, blah to take me, to take my mind that he's gonna fight, stand up, and he tried to take me down. But even he tried to take me down, even he take me down, no chance for him.